Vimar K24 Honda Power. Eric Santiago los controles. Caril que es lo Carlos de León. Vimar live behind the other half side. Eric Santiago, the 23 GLX P Series Power Machine out of Vin City, Florida. As El Jenki finish off the burn out there left side, the 08 RX in Orlando, Florida. Miguel Rivera, the wheel. Courtesy staging is in effect here for this weekend event as El Jenki went straight to the whole stage lines. There's no other actually back up there. Three stage beams on for El Jenki. Pubar is in three stage lines also. Both will start getting up the chip, build the boost. And get the turbo speed up. We are ready to rock and roll. Punto 94 para el Pimar. Cinco segundos. Toma! 588. 235 millas, nuevo récord para Pimal. Viene una bulla al calle. El Bruto, light in the heights, your right side of the racetrack in the Mazda. Series rotary power there for the right side. We got the case here. In the hood there for Derek Santiago there at the PMR machine. The TLX at Arnold Hain City, Florida. Two the field currently. Abrutu at a 670 with an O at 205. We're looking to try to go quicker here. Everything will come together. Abrutu, right side, PMR left side. Atomizer racing injectors running eight versus modified to the final qualifier to set the ladders here for this category. Three stage beams off for both drivers here. Bruto right side, Pimar left side. We are about ready to rock and roll. What is in to our game? And four lights. We a great Pimar on a nice pass. Now for the race track, keep an eye out, Pimar. It's going to be a 586 with an 8237. 586, sigue mejorando. Pimar, 237 millas, vamos arriba. K24, dímelo por ahí, Hugo. Dos de los nuestros en esta ronda eliminatoria. Rotol y Pistón. Vamos allá, Pimal Fiber Glass por el cari derecho. Derry Santiago, Luis Rivera, los 90 piquetes. Mectec College, Rafaelito. Carrerita buena, vamos arriba. Five second alert. Rafaelito and Pimar both get ready to go side by side down the quarter mile here at the Haltech World Cup Finals presented by Wiseco. Rafaelito into the pre-stage and the full stage. There goes Pimar. Lights are down. Pimar with the extra ton advantage. Pimar going to be out in front. Takes it. Oh! Oh! 592 with a six there for Pimar. 232 miles an hour as Rafaelito goes 647 to a 210 but was behind the whole way. Fabian Ty Casper's 24 years old. Derek Santiago, 24 year old kid. Mm -hmm. Is this the youngest final in Radio versus Modified history? And, and youngest final in Renegade versus Modified history in the World Cup? I believe it is. I'll tell you what, this tells me drag racing is doing just it, it fine. May, it, may be the young, it may be the youngest final, combined final in the history of the World Cup. It may be close, at least within the last couple of years. I mean, yeah, I think within the last few years, I would definitely agree with. But you know what? Coming up next, you know what we got? After nope, not yet, run? because we got the pair we're going to look at right, right now. Well, single. Second. There's, There's Santiago, their left side of the race. Here, Pimar getting ready to make the run. Uy, 1 0 1 en los 60 pies. Oh, not going to happen, but you know what? Ty Casper is going to have lane choice in the final round. 
Let me know that. Hey, like. Stick shift missing two. Grand's racing stick shift missing two. As let's go. Derek Santiago, Bymar. Ty Casper right side. Ty Casper light in the hides here for the American side. 2005 Mustang, the domestic of the right lane. Light them up. And his opponent is going to be Keto and Jose Hu. Oye, Derek Santiago en el Pimar, en el Carril Izquierdo. Oye, y esta yo creo que es la carrera con los jóvenes. Oye, la historia del Impol, 24 años para... The Blue Oval, the Mustang of Ty Casper. Make some noise, M.I.R., it's go time. Viene, ¿cuánto van a los Impol? Here we go, build the boost. Renegade versus Montevideo. Oh, wait, Santiago goes to a deep stage. He, it may have worked. Look, Todd Van Casper behind. It and it's Santiago five with a 595, 236. You saw him going to a deep stage. Is, and it may have worked. As Ty Derek Santiago, you're a World Cup final winner. Incredible, incredible. It's uh, just our second World Cup. And to be able to take it home is amazing. Anybody at home you want to talk, thank, um, suck up to, ask him to send you money because you got to go back on the road to Florida? No, man, I thank God first, my family, and uh, my whole team that without them and my sponsors, that none of this would be capable without them. You know, you had a little bit of a roller coaster weekend for you, but yeah. it seems like after you got through Q4 yesterday, you settled in and you just went to work. Yeah, we had some bugs, but once we were able to go down, I mean, we're, we figured it out and we were able to repeat, thank God. Well, the first few sessions, we thought you were the 330 guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But shit happens. All right, where's everybody going to see you at from here on out? Um, what you mean by that? Where are you going to race to next? Oh, I'm going back to Orlando because right now I'm number one in the point series they got over there. So I got to defend that for the last race of the year. To hopefully I win the championship. Folks, there you go. Derek Haltech, World Finals, presented by Wiseco, winner right here. And he didn't think he was going to make the show. October 30th through November 3rd, the 28th annual Haltech World Cup Finals, presented by Wiseco, Maryland International Raceway. Tickets on sale now. Buy yours before we sell out again. Hey.